once again welcome to the class of economics in shetty's academy hope you all are good and be happy always this video is also available in hindi and you can watch that in hindi series topic for today is significance of macroeconomics so before discussing that we need to recall the definition of macroeconomics what was that yes macroeconomics is the study of economic issues and economic problems of the economy as a whole so it takes care of the economy as a whole and studies economy as a whole so this is our economy right and we have drawn that in oval shape or whatever we can do then here what does it do economy is studied by macroeconomics and significance means the use or the utility of macroeconomics okay what is the significance it studies the economy as a whole first of all it describes the economy right we can write it here describes the economy in detail describes economy okay describes economy you can write once again economy okay here we go now what is described in economy it tells us the level of national income right national income of the nation and per capita income as well then what does it tell it tells number one it tells national income and then second tells the problem of unemployment unemployment it studies unemployment then what else does it study it studies the budget okay it describes the economy as a whole and what other things does it study it studies the level of economic well being of the people of the nation so population what category or what portion of population is rich or what portion is below the poverty line so it studies poverty right poverty then what does it study it also studies the level of environment pollution in economy right environment pollution and by run met pollution then what does it study it also studies growth and development of the nation right growth and development of nation Here we go. Here we have. Then, what does it study? Is economic stability. Economic stability of the nation or the economy, right? It studies balance of payment of the nation. Then it also studies various other variables of economy. like we have aggregate demand aggregate supply level of investment in economy okay and inflation deflation etc right inflation and deflation i'm not writing all the parameters over here the variables see this is the broad outline of your economy as a whole if my uh, macroeconomic studies all these components of your economy so why do we need to study macroeconomics first of all because we need to have a macroscopic view of economy and who takes macroscopic view of economy yes government takes macroeconomics view of the economic why because it has to take care of economy whole economy of any nation may it be the economy of india may it be the government of your america or india or china we have to take care or they have to take care basically government has to take care the uh, of the economy take care of the economy and the people of that nation that is the economic well being of the people right so people and economy has to be looked after by government all these parameters that we have studied will help your home government government meant how to frame policies and initiate programs right for what see we need different 
programs to correct all the problems that are happening or that are there in your economy. What are the problems? We have problem of unemployment. So there are various programs that have been initiated by the government of India since its inception, since its independence and we have, we need to eradicate unemployment. So policies pertain to unemployment are framed, then to increase national income are framed by government, then budget. What are the components of budget? Revenue and expenditure that is taxes and subsidies. Right? So, government employs the technique of taxes and subsidies to correct the imbalance of economy or the imbalance of the people, that is the level of people of economy, that is poverty. It's correcting poverty of the nation. It's bringing equitable distribution of income in economy so that all people live a healthy life and economically viable life. Right? Okay, so taxes and subsidies are the tools of budget. Okay, then we have poverty. The status of poverty is studied by your macroeconomics. So government also takes a note of people who are living below poverty line and provides subsidies to them. It provides relaxation in the norms for them. It does not levy heavy taxes on them and exempts the income uh, of these people. And also it uh, plans there is housing facilities for them, employment facilities for them, and educating them and providing needs to them at subsidized rates. Then, environment pollution. See, any nation cannot develop if there is lot of pollution in that nation. To correct this problem of pollution and to eradicate or lower down the rate of pollution, government frames different policies. Right? Then we have growth and development. Right? It lays down a road map, road map for growth and development. Why? Because when there will be growth of your nation, all the sectors of economy will develop and people will become rich and economy will as a whole will develop and we will attain good balance of payments and economic stability also. So government plans for the growth and development with the help of macroeconomics then we have economic stability right how to attain economic stability with the help of fiscal and monetary policy fiscal and monetary policy because there should be no fluctuations in economy like inflation deflation and business cycle to avoid avoid them Government pursues fiscal policy, that is budgetary policy of any nation and it is taken care by your finance ministry or the government and monetary policy. It is related to money. It is taken care by your government. Fiscal policy is given by your government and monetary policy is laid down or planned by your central bank, that is your RBI in India. Or in other nations, they are called by different names like Federal Reserve in America, that is USA, and People's Bank of China in Republic of China. Okay, then we have our BOP, balance of payments, that is functioning of our currency in international markets or the reserves of foreign exchange that we have with us in our economy. And secondly, it also tells us balance of trade, right? That what are the items or what is the quantity of exports from our nation and what is the quantity of imports from other nation. It tells us the balance of trade that is exports and imports. So government lays down different policies to increase exports. We need to increase exports to earn foreign exchange and we need to decrease them, decrease imports so that our foreign currency is not spent on those items. Okay. Then we have various variables like aggregate demand, aggregate supply, investment and inflation. All these variables are studied by macroeconomics and government studies them from macroeconomics to frame different policies to correct the various problems that are happening in your economy. Right. So all these factors are studied by macroeconomics and they are significant for government to frame policies and programs pertaining to all these 
problems, right? So what have we studied? First one was describe economy. So we have for our code first alphabet that is D. Describes economy. Then second was what? Poverty. P. Then third was your environment pollution. Okay. E. Then fourth was growth and development. G. Right. D. Pad. Okay. Then we have E. We can form another code E and B O P. B O P and plus V. Okay. So we have the code D. D Pad E B O P V. Right. So D. D Pad E B O P V is our code for significance of macroeconomics. So with the help of this code, you can relate the various components of various terms that we study under this economy. The terms are here, written over here and you can memorize that very easily. Right? And you can write that in exams. See, this question that is significance of macroeconomics, you may get in exams for 6 marks and that is a detailed question. For that, you need to memorize all the points and with the help of this code, you can memorize that. This is very simple and very easy. Government macroeconomics studies all these components and all these components are significant for the government affairs, policies and programs. This is very simple. Okay. So I hope you have understood the topic. If you have any comments and queries, please send them and please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and do watch this video in Hindi as well. Thank you so much.